Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas has recently undergone a $115 million renovation. This newly amplified cruise ship now offers a variety of new dining, entertainment, and onboard activities. It also regularly cruises to Royal Caribbean's updated private island, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. The princess and I have sailed on the ship twice this summer since its renovation and learned a thing or two about this newly updated vessel. I'm DB from EatSleepCruise.com, and if you have a three or four day Bahamas cruise on this impressive ship, we've put together our top 20 Navigator of the Seas cruise tips. Odds are, if you are looking to take a short three or four day cruise, you'll want to do so while spending the least amount of money. That is why booking a guaranteed cabin category might just be your best option. You can score a low fare, yet still be eligible for perks. For both of our trips on this ship, we booked a guaranteed balcony and received free gratuities and onboard credit from our travel agent. Even if you do not purchase Wi-Fi on the cruise, the Royal Caribbean app is a must for your voyage. You can check in on the app with your set sail pass saved to your smartphone. Once on board, the app provides information on scheduled events, activities, dining times, and more. When you check in in the pre-cruise planner, Royal Caribbean will provide you with a time to arrive at the port. Just ignore that suggestion and arrive at the port as early as possible. We usually get to the terminal between 10 and 10.30 a.m. and we have no issues being allowed to check in. Normally, the cruise line begins letting passengers on board the ship by about 11 a.m starting with the highest tier cruisers and suites. In your pre-cruise planner, you'll regularly see details on many upgrades and packages. Usually, you can score discounts on shore excursions, internet, and dining. It's up to you whether you want to purchase any of these upcharges. If you believe you'll consume at least six alcoholic beverages a day, then one of our Navigator of the Seas cruise ships is to pre-book the deluxe beverage package. You can usually purchase a package for around $48 to $52 per person per day, which the cruise line claims is around 25 to 30% off onboard prices. Once on the ship, the price for the package will certainly cost you more money. Among some of the new features on Navigator of the Seas are two water slides. In our experience, the lines are the shortest for these rides on day one, as well as your port day in Nassau. We rode them multiple times when they were opened at 10.30 a.m. while docked in the Bahamas. Or, these attractions are open at 11.30 a.m. on day one of your cruise. Along with packing a bathing suit, sunscreen, medication, and other necessary documentation in your carry-on, you should also pack some essentials for the trip. We never cruise without an over-the-door shoe organizer to store small items in our cabin. Magnetic hooks also come in handy for hanging additional items like bags, hats, or for drying clothes. Also, be sure to pack closed toe shoes if you want to test out the laser tag course on the ship. While the Windjammer design has been improved on Navigator of the Seas, it can still be chaotic on Embarkation Day. We suggest skipping it to try other casual options instead on day one. Additional venues that are open on Embarkation Day include El Loco Fresh, with a selection of tacos, burritos, quesadillas, and a custom salsa bar. Also, the Cafe Promenade is open with freshly made pizzas and pre-made sandwiches such as the King Author. Upcharge casual venues like Johnny Rockets and Playmakers are also open for lunch on Embarkation Day and are great if you have the unlimited dining package. A new addition to Navigator of the Seas is Playmaker Sports Bar and Arcade. This pub offers drinks that are included in the deluxe beverage package as well as specialty dining items priced a la carte. At Playmakers, the arcade games will cost you additional money. However, a nice touch is the inclusion of some free bar games, like pool, foosball, and several large Jenga games. So, find some friends, grab a few drinks, and challenge them to a friendly competition. Most of the cocktails and drinks on the ship are covered in the deluxe beverage package. So, make good use of it during your quick escape by trying some of the signature drinks and specialty cocktails found exclusively at some locations. The outdoor lime and coconut bar offers some new favorites, including the signature lime and coconut mixed drink, while the schooner bar is your place for martinis. Other bars with specialty menus include the Latin-inspired boleros, as well as a new bamboo room. 
Some of the Polynesian drinks at the Bamboo Room are a slight upcharge, but many of the drinks, like the Bamboo Mai Tai, are within the drink package $13 allotment. There is one surprise entertainer that you need to discover during your cruise. He is the stowaway piano player. You tend to find this hidden performer in elevators during the evenings. On both our cruises on Navigator of the Seas, we spotted this secret performer, but were never quick enough to get a picture. Trust us, he's somewhere on board your cruise. While many pool bars tend to close once the sun goes down, the lime and coconut is anything but typical. On most nights, one of the decks is open until midnight. With lighting and additional seating up on deck 13, you can enjoy the Bahama breezes with an umbrella drink in your hand. Most nights, we found the crowds to be rather light outside. The pool deck on Navigator of the Seas has been enhanced to feature a new Caribbean style and decor. Along with new day beds and hammocks, there are now several covered structures known as casitas on deck 11 and 12. These casitas are free and first come first serve. They offer great protection from the sun and most feature two lounge chairs and a side table. Recently, the cruise line has added USB charging stations. Now that is smart thinking. Another nice addition to Navigator Seas is the extended pool hours. While many cruise lines close pools once it gets dark, both the main pools and adjacent whirlpools on the ship are open until midnight. Lifeguards are on duty until the posted time, and there are often movies being played on the outdoor big screen. We know you want to make the most of your cruise, so a late night dip is certainly an option. Like many of Royal Caribbean's mega ships, Navigator of the Seas offers signature entertainment. We highly suggest checking out Ice Skate on night one. There will be two performances scheduled around the main dining room times. If you arrive about 25 to 30 minutes early, you are sure to secure some of the best seats in the house. All of the other main theater shows were never that full on either of our cruises, so you don't have to arrive that early to find a seat. If you want to upgrade your dining experience on the trip, you should consider the Royal Caribbean's Unlimited Dining Package. We tested this new offering on one of our trips and loved its flexibility and inclusions. Along with four specialty restaurants for dinner, the plan also includes Playmaker Sports Bar and Arcade, as well as the Johnny Rockets Express on Deck 11. We made sure to check out all the locations during our trip to get the greatest value possible from the plan. In the description below, we link to our complete review of the unlimited dining plan to help you decide if it's right for your next Navigator of the Seas cruise. One of the best parts of cruising on Navigator of the Seas is that the ship offers at least one stop at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. This new private island is amazing. It offers plenty to do, see, and eat. And all of your packages purchased on the ship work on the island. Yes. Your Wi-Fi connection and deluxe beverage package can be used while you spend the day ashore. You can share all of your updates to social media while sipping the island's signature Coco Loco poolside without any additional costs. On three and four day Bahama cruises, the cruise line still packs in all of the parties, game shows, and events that you expect on a typical seven day cruise. You can score a great viewing area for parties on the Royal Promenade like the 70s disco party at the Copper and Clove Pub. In fact, we arrived about 30 minutes before showtime and snagged a table and chairs right outside the venue. So we had courtside seats to all the fun with bar service. One area of the ship that you could completely miss is the improved mini golf course. Located on deck 13 forward, we have found this area is usually quite empty. So not only can you play a few rounds of this complimentary activity, throughout your voyage. You can also enjoy some quiet time in the deck chairs or shaded Adirondack chairs. You can grab some of the most epic photos from the ship's helipad, especially during sail away or while docked at a port of call. You can access this area via the outdoor walkways on deck five. Head all the way forward and utilize the stairs to find yourself at the secluded outdoor area. We know you do not want to think about disembarkation day. It is certainly the worst part of your cruise. To make things go as smoothly as possible, you should do the self-checkout option. As long as you are able to carry your own bags off the ship, this is the simplest and easiest way to exit the vessel. Normally, the ship is cleared and allows passengers to disembark between 7 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. 
you can then walk off the ship with few lines and head back to work or to the airport and back to reality. And there you have it. That's our top 20 insider navigator of the seas cruise tips. But of course, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know your cruise tips in the comment section below. I'm DB from eatsleepcruise.com. And if you enjoyed this video, we would really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe already and then check the notification icon. That way you get updated whenever we put out brand new videos. You can also find us all over social media at Eat Sleep Cruise. And thanks again for watching.